So I have a whole history of failing with New Year's resolutions. And when I was determining a start date for what I had in my mind called my final transformation uh, around my weight and the time when I got it off for good, um, I was looking at my calendar between really Thanksgiving and New Year's and um, my calendar was such that I knew there were so many um, food events that were going to be really complicated for me to get through. And uh, I also knew that it was going to be important to set myself up for success around those events. And so realistically, I did not choose to start in a complicated food time. I needed to get through the holiday season. I needed a space of time unencumbered where I could focus on myself. And as much as I did not want to start on New Year's Day, um, I did choose New Year's Day as my start date because that was when I would have the unencumbered time to uh, really focus on myself. And so um, what I did differently around New Year's resolution in 2020 was I didn't call it a New Year's resolution. I chose a theme instead. And so the theme that I chose for 2020 was uh, transform. And I liked that because uh, part of what I knew about myself is that I needed to avoid all or nothing thinking. And transform gave me this um, idea where it doesn't necessarily happen all in one moment. It doesn't happen all in one decision. It doesn't happen all in one success. And that the idea of transform wraps it all up together and allows for an ebb and flow that takes place over time. And so um, starting with the New Year's theme worked so well the first year that um, I have continued to do it uh, since then. And uh, my theme for 2022 was voice. And uh, here I am at the end of 2022, voicing things around the theme that I started in 2020.